Hey, everybody. How are you? Uh, this is our uh, little Monday get together. We don't have any special opening or big deal going for us here. We just have all the people that want to be on this program and uh, let's get them going. Let's get them admitted to the we have a lot of people waiting. There's uh, there's Shecky and there's Edward uh, Berger and there's uh, Steve Bender and there's uh, Charlie Wallace and there's Andrew Deutsch and there's Jeff. I'm here. Marjorie Miller. Uh, who, uh, Marjorie Miller, uh, you're married to somebody, aren't you? Somebody. Yeah, uh, Stephen Miller. Doctor <laughs> Bed. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. How are you? Fine. Good. Good to see you all. Um, by the way, first of all, to Shecky, thank yeah. you for telling us to watch The Queen's Gambit. Oh, it's great, it's isn't it? Great. Brilliant. It's great. Just wonderful. Yeah. Just amazing. It was the same guy that did Godless. Which oh, yeah. Thing about the town of women, because all the men had died. And uh, all of a sudden, this uh, other guy was trying to come in and take him, take it over, and so on. And it, it, it was a great show. It's amazing to me. This is the same guy who wrote um, the Hustler and the Man Who Fell to Earth. Oh, really? Yeah, Walter Tevis. It was his last novel before he died in 1983. But he wrote the Hustler and the Man Who Fell to Earth. Oh, I see. But 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 what does that have to do with the Queen's Gambit? He wrote the novel. He wrote the book. Oh, he wrote the novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gambit. Oh, wow. Yeah, and another it was a novel, and it got a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Not that I pay attention to them. It's, well, it's I don't terrific. know. We've gone really to movies that got a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> and walked away going, "What?" Yeah, yeah but you're <laughs> the one who always will call me. Go, it got an eighty-eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> uh, I think uh, that was okay. years ago. I've stopped ever since. I we went to a couple of movies and regretted that we had put the money out. You know. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let's uh, we get a couple more people. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got a couple more people here. First of all, uh, Steve Bender, I would imagine. Uh, no, we have Steve Bender there. So we have another it's Steve. Your truck driver friend. Oh, oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Hey. And, uh, and of course, our birthday boy, Brian Neary. Happy birthday to you. How many years? 35. Woo! Huh? 35. 35? Happy birthday. 35, yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> something around there. <laughs> Brian, I'm, I'm sorry. I tried to book your party at the Four Seasons, but I could only get room at the Ritz for you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Is there an adult bookstore across the street? That's what's important. At the, it's, it's, it's a Spanish one, though. It's Casa de Dildo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. The, cre the crematorium. The crematorium is taking reservations, too. No, boy. One of the people who spoke at that thing on Saturday is was a convicted sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was this? Uh, the thing that Rudy one of the Giul guys who spoke at that Giuliani dust up was a convicted sex offender that he introduced as a Philadelphia poll watcher. Except he lives in New Jersey and went to jail for four years. <laughs> Wait a minute. So if he's a sex offender, what kind of poll was he watching? That's what yeah. I was well, so what's that point? Washing. I think he was washing his poll. <laughs> I don't know. Take us back to Tubin territory here. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. No, um, um, uh, this has been, uh, this is, um, this is a a wonderful, happy time for us because in the middle of just nothing but bad news all year long, one piece of yep. bad news after another, we got a piece of good news, which was Biden getting elected. And today we got a, a couple of other pieces of good news. Number one, that it looks like Pfizer, without the use of government funds. Except Pence is taking credit for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? The government didn't pay for it. No, but Pence said it was because of him. Oh, really? <laughs> it wasn't because of him. In fact, no, it Pfizer, wasn't. Pfizer and, went and on Pfizer and said, said yeah. the Trump administration had nothing to do with this. And they made they made a point of that. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise nobody would trust it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yes. True. And uh, but he um, uh, they said that uh, uh, this thing is ninety percent effective, which you know we were willing to accept fifty percent of. Yeah. 
Uh, and Pfizer is a very reputable company. That's all I can say. Pfizer. And it's you have two stock shots. in it, Shecky? What? Do you have stock in it? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, are they the ones? Are they the ones that brought Viagra to the market? Don't know. I don't know. I think I, I do. I do know that uh, uh, Kevin, of course, is in the in that field. They make uh, testing devices. I have one right Brian. here that he sent me. Brian. These go into his Pfizer. Huh? <laughs> Pfizer, they'll 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 cure the virus and make you happy. You got <laughs> yeah. but, but, Kevin, uh, but Brian, how does this uh, how does this look to you? Oh you yeah, think? Pfizer is very reputable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, them and Moderna have been back and forth, but. Yeah, and it's funny that they announce it right after the voting is finished. Yeah. <laughs> well, the president of Pfizer said he didn't know until Sunday, so I can't, right. you know, I don't know. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all good, right? So they had 60 minutes. They had how, how the logistics side is going to get it, it to everybody, but I think they're still confused. Well, did, that you guy, did, did you like that guy? Did you like part. that guy from the military? He seemed a little... He still seemed like he's confused on stuff. They thought they introduced that software package and stuff like that, and there's he's still confused. Yeah. He's still working it out. He said, "Here, they put the military in charge of delivering it, and who, in fact, is going to be delivering it? FedEx." <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Now I got news yeah. for you. I could do that myself. I the, have the biggest... a FedEx account. <laughs> and, and the biggest challenge they have is. Well, we did a hundred million tests, and we need to give three hundred million vaccines. It seems like a bigger task. Yes, and and two I, shots, two shots with twenty-one days in between. Yep. The the temperature is going to be the issue for them. Like they said, when they're trying to bring it to you know certain certain areas, we have the same thing. When we do ship tests, we have stuff going to India, and they could be on the plane on the tarmac for a week sometimes. So. We have to make sure everything is well protected because wow. with the sun and the humidity and everything, it'll destroy all the stuff that's in the cartridge. So, yeah, we have a lot of ship tests that we do just to validate going to certain areas. Yeah, how cold? It's like sixty below zero. They got to keep it at 90. 90. ninety. Ninety below. Jeez. They also they also seem very they seem very concerned that it's you know two shots and it's not pleasant. So they're wondering will people take it and come back for the second shot? Isn't it? <laughs> Shingles shot is too tense. It's shot. awful, but I did it. The shingles, the shingles one is brutal. Right, I've heard that that can be brutal too. But, okay. but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'd rather that brutality than getting shingles. Wait a minute, how was it brutal? I don't. It know. hurt for <laughs> days. My arm felt like like it was ten degrees warmer than the rest of my body. We had the shingles test, right, Marjorie? I think so. The vaccine. The shot. Vaccine, that's the test. Shot. Shots. And, and the crazy thing, when I got my first dose. Then the, the, the doctor couldn't get, he didn't have any, there was none available in the market. So I had to find one. I called every pharmacy in the entire Northern Ohio and found someone that had a dose of it on the last day for the second dose. And went to a pharmacy and paid cash for the second dose. Yeah, but well, well, eventually they come up with a, uh, a single shingle shot, but that's only when somebody can say that three times fast. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, was, it was brutal. I've never had a vaccine that, that that hurt like that is, is but i'm glad i did it yeah yeah shingles is i had shingles from here to all the way to the middle of the back from here to my waist wow i have a shirt on it hurt so bad yeah it was really bad yeah i had well, i told i mentioned this on the nighttime show i had one that was on my face yeah and i went to a doctor up in mendocino uh who also had some very nice pot uh and he um <laughs> He, uh, he, he said, okay, here, just go get this pill at the pharmacy and that'll take care of it. And he said, I'm glad you got to me today because two more days and you might be blind. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's serious. Awful. It was, and I said to him, here was the thing. You have to have had what? The, the uh, chicken pox. Chicken pox uh, in order to get shingles. shingles. Well, I never had chicken pox. And uh, my, I had a girlfriend who got chicken pox at 23, and I never got it. You may and, have had it with Well, th what everybody's supposing is that I had it at some point. And but didn't know it. It was a very minor uh, yeah. <laughs> case, but enough to inoculate me. 
okay? And so that's why, I mean, I had shingles. It means I had chicken pox when I was a kid. Um, and uh, I, uh, but I was so, so glad we got to the doctor in time before I went blind, but I just wondered what this thing was. It was just painful and it was a kind of, it wasn't like a rash there. I mean, it was terrible, just terrible. But when you talk about a shot being, you know, if it hurts, that's one thing. If it has after effects, that's another mm -hmm. thing altogether. And I don't think they're saying this is going to have after effects, but it might be more painful than other shots. And a lot of that has to do many times with the viscosity of the shot I think you're giving mm -hmm. as to where it hurts a lot going in. I've, I've noticed some years of the, the, uh, vi the uh, flu Blue shot, shot is just easy peasy. Ew. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And other years, it's like, my God, fuck, what did you just do to me? Yeah, my arm hurt for three days after I got my shot this year. Really? Yeah. It, might, yeah. it was a little, it hurt a little more this year than it did. The, the flu shot? Yeah. yeah. It might hurt the, the yeah. I think she hit something in my arm when the needle went in, it hurt, but then I was fine. Yeah. Steve, where are you right now? I'm in Texas, uh, about an hour from Amarillo. Okay. All right. Good. So, uh, uh, if you wave, maybe Charlie can see you. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, Charlie's down in, uh, you're in, uh, where do you call this? The, Austin. Uh, yeah. Austin. Uh, ostentatious, as I used to call it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful would, town. Beautiful. See that Mitch McConnell says he's not accepting the election at the moment. Yeah, I just watched well, He says that the president is 100% within his rights to to do what he's doing and that's true yeah he's just not 100 percent correct in doing it you know right. and, and making life easier for the rest of us because anytime people have claimed what he's claiming most of the time it, it comes out to nothing well there's no evidence so far well, of who well. his claims are and he's right. never presented any right he doesn't have any there's no evidence since you know. well, when did well, both guys need evidence of anything to say it only yeah. four Republican but, senators. But the four fact Republican is, senators have accceded this yeah, so far. Yeah. Well, the fact is, though, that uh, it's not that. You know, I mean, it, it's it's. Uh, what 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 was I going to say? I forgot now. <laughs> Punchy today for some reason. Uh, uh, no, no. It, it's it's usually found that when they want to recount, as an example, most times when they do a recount, it comes out the same way. Yeah. Out in the first place. You know. Very rarely has it ever had another, you know, I think, I think the Florida recount, which was very close, was a, an exception to the rule. Well, they stopped counting. That's why. What he's trying to do is he's trying to stop an official uh, pronouncement that Biden is president. But it's going to happen anyway, uh, 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 Donald. And, and why don't you have the dignity to just get the hell out of Dodge? And because just he needs time to steal more money. Right. Yeah. yeah. I get, but, but today Judge Judge Janine Pirro got fired. What? She got fired today because she was trying to broadcast bullshit about the election. Really? Really? Got fired her? Yep. Wow. So they really? fired her. Wow. Heard they didn't put her show on this weekend, but now they fired her too. Yep. Good. And, huh. and guess what? Caught, caught criticizing yeah. the network. What did, what, did the, what did the president do today, which is a stupid thing to be doing, considering... Fired what, the defense secretary. Yeah, he fired, fired the defense secretary. secretary of defense. Now, granted, he'd be out of there anyway once Biden came into office. But isn't this like casting swine before... What's the term? Uh, Pearls before swine. swine. I mean, what? why? You know, you're out of there, pal. Or is he trying to prove he isn't out of there? Yeah, and He's then he finds some pawn to take the job. Like, yeah, who will the... put the military behind him? <laughs> he just needs to find another Steve Mnuchin. Doesn't it make you a little nervous, wondering what he's going to do? Getting well, the guy, the the guy had written his resignation he's letter. He's got two months to make a lot of bad decisions. Yeah. Huh? By the yeah. way, I have, uh, you know, I'm ha having this eye thing done, although I don't think I'm going to have it done now because the COVID uh statistics are going up, up in, in New York. York so I don't know if I want to you know have a have a, a, any any medical procedure during that and it can wait till next year anyway uh but the guy who's supposed to do it my, the doctor who's supposed to do it is Steve Mnuchin's what uh brother-in-law brother -in uh, 
and he hates them. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the family, the family is far left family, and they basically just disinherited him. <laughs> yeah, disowned him. Yeah. 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 By by the way, Ben Carson has COVID now. Ben Carson has it. Yeah. Everybody in that White House is going to have it by the time this is done. Yeah. Um, he was at the watch party last Tuesday. Ben Carson. <laughs> was that? What you know, where, where they think he got it? Yeah. Where, where Mark was, Meadows got it? It was the it was the victory party. What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry, the victory party. Use, use the right word. <laughs> well, the only people that aren't going to get it are the people who've already had it. <laughs> you know, and survive. It's amazing. It's just amazing. What, and, kind, and, of, what kind of fucking brain surgeon, Ben Carson? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't wear a mask during COVID. Well, ask, ask yourself why a guy that young had to retire as a brain surgeon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you get brain surgery from that gentleman? <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can say he ain't no brain surgeon. <laughs> He plays one on TV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, I, just, I just want that whole, those people <laughs> out of there. I just don't want to hear from them anymore. I don't want to hear from them. Oh, you're going to hear from them. Yeah. Well, you're hearing well, not, shut up. Not, yeah. if the, not if the press decides, okay, you're, you're uh, 10 minutes. We're going to ignore you. Gone. What? We're going to yeah, ignore you. The press you. says we'll ignore you, but that's not what the press does. Unfortunately, they're going to start ignoring him. I think they had it with him with the, you know, the, the fake news deal and all of that. You well, know? the moment the way he handled the COVID, which was terrible. Sure. The moment he's no longer president, Twitter's going to ban him, and, and all of Bernie all of the right wing knuckle, all the right wing knuckleheads I know have already moved to Parlor, mm -hmm. the new the new right wing version of Facebook. Parlor. Parlor. P a r l e r. Yeah. They've all A R L E R. Yeah, parlor. Uh, or oh, parlor. Parlor. P A W. No, P A R L E R. Parlor. Oh, parlor. What does that stand for? Uh, douchebag. <laughs> like, it's like the French. It's just like, misspelled. Yeah, it's the French word for yeah. douchebag. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Parlay is to con converse. So. I'm... Oh, by the way, let me see how if we're going out okay. I just want to make sure we're going out. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of Parlor until today. Yeah, it's it's been up for, it for a while. Saturday. It's like 4chan, but you know if these if these guys think that, uh, and it's interesting because the Republicans were trying to get this the laws changed so that Twitter and Facebook would be held responsible for the things that were published, and if that law were to happen, 4chan and Parlor and all these other right wing ones would end up being the ones prosecuted because. Facebook and Twitter and all of them are trying to, at least at some level, prevent it. Well, I mean, the thing that got them mad at, at Twitter was because they finally started trying to, you know, question the statements the president was saying and just not let them go across as though they were truth, you know. Well, it's not censorship if you refuse to publish something you have no proof is true. Yeah. yeah. It's called journalism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So how did you react, uh, all of you, uh, when you got this news that uh, Trump had won? I know that I went outdoors, and somehow it was very, it was a beautiful day. You, you, you who live in New York, uh, Shecky lives in New York, and probably Jeffrey up in up in uh, up up in. Uh, it was just this beautiful day, like God had said, "Okay, it's going to be beautiful now," because every. Or maybe it was just my perception of things, but I walked out the front door into my courtyard and I just went, this is the first time I felt great in a year. Yep. It was amazing. It was the happiest I've seen the city since the pandemic started down here. I mean, the Fifth Avenue from 14th Street to about 23rd Street was just lined with people with mm. cars coming down Fifth Avenue, honking their horns and victory cheers. And it was and amazing. By the way, I saw, if you watched him on television, they were all wearing masks. Everybody. Yeah. 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 In front of the White House, those big crowds, everyone was wearing masks. Yeah. Well, I didn't be in a big crowd, but everyone was masked, so we just went out for a few minutes. It was amazing. We I went to friends for Columbia University, and they were all out in the street and huh. singing and dancing, holding flags. It was it was exciting. Well, they were honking yeah. horns out here. Yeah. You know. Yeah, cool. we went, <clears throat> I'm in Ohio. We went to the park and didn't see a single MAGA hat. 
Oh, the first good. time in year, in three years, four years, not one. Yeah, it's amazing <laughs> how qu how quiet my Facebook friends are that yeah. were that were uh, yeah. big Trump supporters. It's uh, they very, were very quiet. I was getting death threats. The thing that gets me, I mean, I don't want to, I, I don't want to be at all cynical about this because I'm extremely happy, but the idea that we have to celebrate and dance in the streets simply to have a human being, right, a decent person. Now, how do we let the bar get so low that decency is something we have to, you know, go crazy about? It? Well, yeah. the question is going to be how good a president is he going to be or how bad a president is going to Fine. be. And my attitude is how bad can he be compared right. to what we have? Yeah. Right. You know, this is a fairly moral guy who wants yeah. to bring a nation together, doesn't want to, uh, would like to have the people who disagree with him also be part of the discourse, you know, and, and I, uh, and today he gave a speech, he gave it, he's kind of become president already. He gave a mm. speech on COVID and he said, come on, the reason you wear a mask, you know, is, you know, for, for your neighbor and, yeah. and let's, but get this thing taken care of. There's no politics here. You don't have to be right or left to wear a mask. You wear a mask because you, you're a civil human being who wants to protect other human yeah. beings. Yeah, I was in Costco today. I couldn't have been more uncomfortable wearing a mask, but guess what I did? Mm -hmm. I wore a mask. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been doing, I've been doing elliptical at the gym for the last 10 days, about 30 minutes. Yesterday I did 50 minutes. And the mask, it was all sweaty and everything, but uh, they, they, they're they keeping everything, every other thing. And the whole gym, every day I've been there, there are maybe 15 people at the max there. So uh, it's really thin. The hours that I go is really thin. We're so going to dinner tonight because it's Marjorie's birthday dinner. From last week. A few days late. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> We all got a birthday present on Marjorie's birthday. And, and, yeah. and you're, 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 Hopefully one tonight for me. You can, see you can join us if you want, uh, Brian. Okay, uh, I'll, 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 <laughs> I'm dying, okay? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I posted about I a week agree. ago. Yeah. Alex, I, I posted about a week ago asking the question, now that we know that masks kill people, please send me a list of all of your dead relatives from wearing a mask so I can, I can re rejoice. Right. <laughs> and it's funny. Nobody knows anyone who died from wearing a mask. Okay? Steve, Steve has called us back, but Steve, your camera is on. Are you there, Steve? Yeah, I don't know. I lost my internet signal for a second there. Yeah, yeah, that happens. You know, I, was I, got, I, I got this text from a friend that said, Trump just got the full 2020 experience. Yeah. He caught COVID, lost his job, and will be evicted from his house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, as, as opposed to the girlfriend experience, which is a whole other thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was amazed just seeing, you know, two normal families. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, yeah. Shouldn't, that shouldn't bring me such yeah. joy. I'm like, it looks like normal people. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 well, uh, yeah. It, it didn't look like a whole bunch of people trying to be fashion plates. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, in fact, in fact, uh, Jill Biden was wearing a hideous dress the other day. <laughs> I don't care. She's a wonderful person. Oh, she's a wonderful yeah. person. I mean, uh, it's 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 just wonderful to see some decent people in there. You know, and educator. And, and, and he made school once what? he's in the. He's going to continue teaching school. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And say goodbye to Betsy DeVos. Or yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you see Bill Maher where he, they said goodbye to all these people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, have, they have one of those memes where they have the heads of people on people and they were doing the Saturday Night Live one where they said, bye-bye, you know, all the airline, the airline when people leave and those people say goodbye to everybody, they kept saying, bye-bye, and they would show somebody you go by, then bye-bye, and there goes Pence. They go, bye-bye, there goes Ivanka. Yeah. Like some CV forms, you know. <laughs> Uh, and and just filling them out for the various people at the White House right now. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, we, but, we were taking bets when what day Fauci's getting fired so he can join Biden's team, and what day after the inauguration either Trump or Don Jr. are going to file for president, running for president. Well, Fauci. Yeah. yeah if, sure. if Fauci's the head of what? He's not the head of uh, the CDC. He's not head of any government agency. In National Institute of Health. National Institute yeah, of yeah. Health, which I think has nothing that is not part of the government. If I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, he can't fire Fauci. He can't fire Fauci. Uh, Fauci I'm just to help him. 
I'm surprised you know. Biden didn't put him on his list. Yeah, I was surprised by that too. Yeah. But well, he's still working for Trump. But he got he's got real medical Trump. professionals on it though. Huh? Yeah. 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 But that could be on there too. Well, I think he probably, you'll probably see Fauci there. You know, Fauci's a rock star. Yeah. Yep. And he was there during the Obama. Yeah. Len, how did you react to it? Sorry, I'm talking to my wife. Let, let me let her answer that question. How, how did you guys how, react to it? How did you react when you found out Biden won? Um, I think I cried. <laughs> Look, we've been joined by, uh, by uh, Jeffrey Tubin. <laughs> 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 that camera high, Albert. Hello, everybody. Yeah, Hi, Albert. We, Albert, we, Albert. I, I happened to be watching CNN when they did the announcement. I was like, oh, my God. Really? Cool. Yes. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> I went over to Fox, and Fox took like another hour or two. I did, too. I did yeah. the same thing just to see how I long saw it CNN. Was. Yeah. I said, well, let's go check Fox. So, Fox, we're getting well, ready to go out to lunch. And I waited and waited. Just before we left, they finally did it. I was yeah. Like, oh. but give it, give oh. it, give it, to, give some props to Fox because they oh, yeah. were the first ones to call Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. stuck with it in spite of the fact that uh, the Trump called Rupert Murdoch to yell at him <laughs> for his company calling. Uh, Arizona, and basically Rupert Murdoch, I think, told him to blow it out his ass. You know. Yeah. Well, OAN called it for Putin. So. <laughs> but, but they, but CNN, uh, uh, Fox did wait to call it. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, how did you feel about it down there, uh, Albert? Did when you got the news? I, I think I was just as happy as everyone else. You know, I, and. If if we would have had a John McCain running, I'd have I'd have voted for John McCain. It, it's just that this guy is just bad for business, bad for everything. He's yeah. just not a good person. He's there's no decency involved at all. Yeah. And I'm looking just for a, someone who's bringing decency back to America. Why yeah, was yeah, it so close? Thing. Why why was it so I, close? Yeah, why did seventy million people vote for him? And because, our, because they're racists also. Yeah, because half of our nation are fucking well, idiots. That, somebody was, <laughs> Most people are still out there. Somebody was positing that on the air today about the fact that, I think maybe it was uh, John Oliver in his little diatribe, oh, that, that, that we, maybe we aren't the good country we think we are. Though only 50% of us are. You know, that, that, you know, this has been a racist country over the years. This has had all the negative things going for it. And what these people were voting for were the good old days, you know? Yep. Um, and, and sexist too, right? I mean, grab yep. women by the pussy and all that how, stuff too. I mean, not just you, racist. How you can vote for this guy who has all these deficits going for him. Uh, uh, what are you voting for? Are you voting for racism, sexism? Uh, Nazis? Lying? Yeah, I mean, it's just... Uh, well, yeah, but he was on the TV. I saw him on the TV. <laughs> but really, I mean, listen to the rhetoric. The, the anti-Biden stuff. I'm sorry. The, the anti-Biden stuff is bad. The anti Kamala stuff is so far worse. Yeah. It really is. Got to oh. learn how to pronounce it. It's Kamala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, the, I mean, the, the things they say about her are, are the most she's a woman, she's a woman racist, sexist. Jeff wanted to say something, but turn your mic on, Jeff. Turn your mic on. Turn it on. Here, come on. Your mic is there. There we go. Yeah. I remember a couple of days ago where we were thinking Trump is never going to get any, nobody's going to vote for him at all. Yeah. 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 I thought that. It didn't have it to be a landslide. Very close to a one to one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He now, basically, that. basically, I saw uh, Albert sent me a picture of his uh, his uh, driveway, and you had a uh, Trump hung an effigy there, didn't you? Basically, <laughs> no, no, I didn't have him hanging an effigy. No, that would be that would be wrong. But what I had was a like a ghoul. Uh, just luck, I found this in uh, in Walmart or one of the stores. Twenty bucks. It's a like a full size ghoul who was in like a prison jumpsuit, a green prison jumpsuit. <laughs> and he had handcuffs and chains on the handcuffs. 
And whenever he would move, like he'd blow it in the wind, he would say, oh, help me, help me, get me out of this, get me out of this. And I also, at, at, at the same time, turned my head and I saw a rubber Trump mask. <laughs> <laughs> this will fit right on the guy. So I put the Trump mask on the guy with the chains. Oh. I hung him up from above my driveway. And there's a, there's a, a, a kind of a, uh, like a tombstone shaped thing above yeah. my driveway, some kind of decoration they put on the house. And I yeah. said, this will be perfect for Halloween, if nothing else. And if people say, you can't put Trump up like, like that. I just bring out the label from the uh, from the mask, which just says public official. Doesn't say <laughs> just public official hanging out there. And people liked it. People did like it. Even the Trumpers liked it. Somebody did actually hang an effigy of uh, of Biden about 20 miles north of here in Brentwood um, on their home. And you have no idea the backlash that is going on for these poor people now. There are people out there just protesting and death threats and the whole deal, as you'd expect. Well, um, yeah, and I don't think that's appropriate. I mean, really, you know, that might be pushed a little. Well, last <laughs> night, last night on uh, uh, on Family Guy, I don't know if any of you uh, Family uh, Guy, they great. were running a running gag through the show, and at the beginning, um, there was a thing that says um, uh, Trump in prison hangs himself. <laughs> oh, or, oh, that, no, excuse me. One, one of the people says that on the show. I think it's Peter, right? Did you and then have, below. Trump was in prison and hung himself. And then they said this was written in 2019. <laughs> are, have we, are we right? <laughs> you know, and then, they, then they did it for like, uh, I don't know, Ivanka. They did it uh, all throughout the show. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, oh, did you hear Mike Pence was who got caught in a gay tryst, really <laughs> hung himself while in prison. And then they said, this was written in 2019, too. I, Were we right? We might, <laughs> you know. uh, and I'm trying to figure out if that was actually part of the show when they originally submitted it, or they had it ready to go in case Trump lost. Yeah. Mm. Because it would just seem to be too right, you know. It was perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. There that is. Can somebody else? Mm, God, I'm wheezing today. I'm getting, my chest is heavy today. We, we it said air quality alert for Harlem until tomorrow. What's in the air that gives uh, for an era? Uh, air? Feels thick. Huh? Too many, too many celebrated with tacos after the election. I <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but it says our, our we have uh, we have. Uh, uh, we have issues in Harlem. Air problems, you know. Uh, but uh, I, I got. So, uh, huh? what's everybody's thoughts on uh, Alex Trebek's passing? Oh my God! Yeah. Well, Sorry. I, Sorry. I'm, I'm going to take the Trump approach uh, and say he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's an icon. I mean, I watch him every yeah. night. And you I, know, I, it, it, sometimes you don't know, though. You know, you don't know. It, it, somebody dies, and then all of a sudden, there's so much news about him having died. And you go, I yeah. guess he was bigger in people's minds than we believed he was. Mm. You know, I mean, I always thought of Alex Trebek as a major television personality. Yeah. And, you know, for me, he was part of my life. Because whenever I saw you, Marjorie will tell you, whenever I see Jeopardy on, I'd be sitting there watching it and yelling out at the screen, you know, who yeah. is. And what do you watch after Jeopardy? I don't watch Wheel of Fortune. No, no, one time, let me tell you the story. One time I'm watching Jeopardy, right? And of course, you got to watch it till final Jeopardy because it's very important. Of course. Right? And then uh, something happened. The phone rang or I had to do something and uh, the TV set was still on. And what follows Jeopardy in New York City? Wheel of the Wheel of Fortune. Or excuse me, Wheel of Fortune is... First? No. No. Second. 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 Yeah. Uh, and so, so Wheel of Fortune's on, and she goes, "Oh, you watch Wheel of Fortune?" And I went, "No, I don't watch Wheel of Fortune. It's just that the world's smartest show is followed by the world's dumbest, dumbest show." show. <laughs> they, once, they once did an April Fool's switch, right? Where um, Trebek yeah. did Wheel of Fortune, and Pat Sajak did Jeopardy on an April Fool's. Oh, yeah. Did they really? Yeah. 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 I, I like remember Art Fleming. When I was in college, oh, too. when I was in college, I was halfway between Dayton and Cincinnati in Ohio. 
-hmm. And in Dayton, Jeopardy came on at 7, and in Cincinnati at 7.30. So I would watch it and then get on my bike and ride over to the fraternity <laughs> house and know every answer. <laughs> Everyone thought I was the smartest guy on the entire planet. <laughs> months, months and months I did that. That's funny. I used to do that uh, also. I, I they had on Channel 55 in New York. China. They would One show it a couple hours earlier than they did on the ABC station. Well, I, 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 yeah. I'll best the rest of you. I had a woman I knew who had a satellite in those days. And in those days, they did the satellite feed of a full week's worth of, of uh, oh. Jeopardy. So oh. we'd sit there and watch it. Then I go back to San Francisco and people were sitting in my house. I'm answering the question before it's even asked. <laughs> <laughs> nice, buddy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, the interesting question, I guess, is going to be uh, who who yeah. is who is who, who, take his place. Who, who's gonna yeah, who could well, take? Yeah, I will. Well, bet Jordan Stephanopoulos has announced he wants the job. Who uh, does he really? Stephanopoulos. <laughs> I bet oh, you. What position? I'd be good at it. I went to high school with him. I think it'll be a woman. I think it'll be a woman of color. Uh, George grew up at a house. I, I mean, I think it, should be, it should be Ken. Hi, Steve. Um, we keep losing Steve because he's in a truck and he probably mm -hmm. goes into a, a dead zone or something like that. You know. What position were you talking about? It should be Ken Jennings. Uh, uh, the, 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 the I don't think he's charismatic oh. enough, really. I, it'll be a woman. I, you know, Trebek wanted it to be a woman. I saw an interview with him, and he said he hopes the next one is a woman. Really? Really? Or I know who it's going to be. Who? It's going to be Steve Kornacki. <laughs> I'm trying to get I'm trying to hire my wife is going to turn 55 next year and I want to hire him as the entertainment for the birthday party he's just going to go to maps and show things Perot well, apparently needs a job so maybe she can get it there you go who needs a job Dean Perot uh, oh, oh, wait a minute okay. what, what about Trump he's out of work be perfect <laughs> <laughs> he's got TV experience. He right. the brand is soiled. He can't read. <laughs> he would get to declare right. two people losers every show. That'd be good for him. Yeah. You know, I think this is going to be difficult for whoever takes over his spot. By the way, the last Trebek show will be on Christmas Day. I saw that. Oh, yeah, he, and he just recorded it about two days ago. Yeah, that's sad. But anyway, who well, wants to take that over? I wouldn't want to be in shoes. I mean, nobody's going to feel comfortable with anybody else doing that. It's just the way he. You gets. never want to be the first person in to those jobs. Yeah. You want to be the second person. Right. If <laughs> let the first person fail. You know. Yeah. Uh, Hello, Cohen. Hello, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I think it's either going to be Pee Wee Herman or Gilbert Godfrey. That's who. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Pauly, sure. He's not really working. Yeah. But what you really should do is just go get somebody far off base from what you uh, believe. You know? Right. Um, I say Alex Bennett. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably better off with an unknown. Who's Alex Bennett? <laughs> Ryan Seacrest. He does everything, right? Oh, God. <laughs> you know who else died? Who else died? Uh, it was uh, Norm Crosby. No, yeah, I yeah. saw that. Yeah, oh. and I put it up on my uh, my Facebook page. I don't know if you saw it. I that saw was a good it. one. Uh, Norm Crosby is decreased. At yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That made me laugh. <laughs> Maybe Mike Tyson, he could host. Because <laughs> I, 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 as soon as I heard that Norm Crosby was dead, I was I talking to you, Shecky, when we? Yeah, I told you. Yeah, you yeah. told me, and the first thing I said to you was, "It's got to be a joke there." <laughs> and then I, I thought about it for a while, and finally I said to Marjorie, "What? What are some words for dead?" And she said, oh, "Deceased." And I went, "Bingo." <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe Norman Lloyd could do it, you know. Norman Lloyd. Not... 106, right? Well, if you're going to yeah. somebody who's going to live, you know, to do the job. Norman Lloyd <laughs> is 105 years old and, yeah. can't, and can't get... No, 106. Uh, let's turn to 106. 106 and can't get SAG health insurance. Uh, <laughs> pretty terrible. That's terrible. That's it's just terrible. horrible. It is. Um... But uh, 
let's see here. He was with Orson Welles, wasn't he? he was yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was the first director. The theater, and then he we worked with Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Producer and sometimes director on the Hitchcock shows. And elsewhere for how many number of years that show was on the air. And then if you don't know who the hell Norman Lloyd is, if you ever watch Saboteur, he's the guy that falls from the uh, Statue of Liberty. Yeah. You know, so. Um, he was blues and Steve. And he, and he played tennis with Charlie Chaplin every weekend. Really? He really had some pals, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Um, uh, and it, it wasn't like... Oh, you know who also turned 106? Hedy Lamar. Wow. Mm. Wow. That's deadly. Huh? That's no. deadly. Hedy Lamar, 106. Deadly, yeah. deadly yes. <laughs> but she's been dead for 15 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what is, anybody here know besides Shecky and Marjorie probably knows because I told her what had Lamar invented? Something. Uh, like I, a I do. I do. Yeah. I, y- yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Albert for the win. It was. It was the the rudimentary beginning of the cell cellular phone system. Well, it was a. It was. It what became. Was it, what was it called, Shecky? It was called. Um, Ember. It was something she did for war work. Yeah, it, what right. it did is it helped uh, guide um, uh, guide, guide um, torpedoes. Torpedoes. Torpedo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, to ships. And later on, what she invented what was it was kind of alternate something or another became the basis of cell phone service. Yeah, it was yeah. changing the frequencies on something yeah. and was, picking yeah. up different Rotate, frequencies eight, instead eight, of one frequency. Frequency hopping thing. Right. Frequency yeah. hopping, that's exactly what that's it's it. called. And and uh, it is used in your cell phones to this very day. And thank you, Hedy Lamar. You know, it's incredible. And she invented it with a guy by the name of, I'm trying to remember his name now, Antheil. And he right. was a musician, wrote music for movies. Right. Uh, and oh. he wrote, he helped her design it. And I think it's because of his musical knowledge that they were able to come up with the formulation to oh. do the frequency hopping. Brilliant, brilliant woman. They said it was used on um, Navy ships during the Cuban Missile Crisis. And when, <laughs> when she was younger, who did she used to have dinner with? Howard Hughes, probably. No, mm-hmm. well, that's a given. Uh, yeah. No, Adolf Hitler. Really? Her husband, her yeah. husband was a friend of Adolf Hitler's, and <laughs> he would come over to dinner. And she hated him, and she hated the whole Nazi thing, and she finally just left her husband and came to the United States to get away from that whole thing, because she just wow. couldn't stand it, you know. So she was one of those those refugees from, from Germany, came to the United States to work. Um, um, brilliant woman, just a great life story. They have a documentary on her, I think, on... Yeah. Well, Netflix, I think yeah. it's playing on Netflix right now. You can look it up. Uh, it is. called Bombshell. It is. It's called Bombshell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's all about her and about her inventing that stuff. And she was, she was, <laughs> she was brilliant. You know, just brilliant. Um, so um, wh- wh- what do you think is going to be the first thing when he gets into the Oval Office on his first day? You know, they always, always talk about on day one, I'm going to do such and such. But on day one, they never do any of that. <laughs> But on this what do you think? for a walk. What do you think? The chair's got his fat ass imprint on there. He's gonna take that out. What do you think yeah. some of the things that he's gonna do? Check for bugs. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Furnish the place because everything's gonna be gone. Put the portrait of Obama back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have a ceremony for Obama, yes. Yeah. Well, the first thing you should do is put Obama's portrait up. Yeah. 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 How, how many here yeah. think uh, think Trump's going to show up to the inaugural? No way. Uh, no, no way. No way. No. No. no, no. How many? He's think- not going to put a letter in the drawer. He's not nope. going to invite. He'll be at Mar-a-Lago to- playing golf. Yep. I think he's going to declare Mar-a-Lago as the White there, House, and he's going to run a shadow government. There are some people put the betting. There are some people betting that he's not even going to uh, stick around for the full term. He's just going to leave the White House. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play yeah. golf. Well, yeah. if, he, if he leaves, then Pence can pardon his federal crimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Not the state crimes, but he can pardon the federal crimes. Mm-hmm. Well, I think you can actually pardon crimes retro, you know, in yeah. advance of them being accused. Yes, yeah. right, we did that for Nixon. But Biden's <laughs> not going to pardon. 
Huh? But but if Pence pardons him, he needs, to pardon. Pence, he needs Pence to pardon him, which he, so he has to make Pence president for a yeah, couple But of there's, there's an interesting piece to that. If Pence pardons him, to pardon someone, you have to pardon spe spe specifying that there was a crime. Right. Yeah. Pence would have been complicit. He can't pardon himself. Mm -hmm. Ford was able to pardon Nixon because he had no part in Nixon's crimes. Yeah. So the uh, question is, okay. if Pence pardons, does that implicate him in the crimes? Interesting. I'm sure I Trump tried to pardon himself, right? He's, you know, he's already talked about that earlier. Yeah, yeah that yeah. pardon starvation thing gets you in trouble. <laughs> the Tubin thing. It does. It does. By the way, we have like, me, 12 people here. This is the most we have had in, in, in this four o'clock show. Yeah, yeah, great group. No, yeah, great group. We I love this four o'clock thing. We're getting do. very popular in the four o'clock show. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We might have to syndicate this thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I talk to my lawyer. Well, the Gene Perot hour is available. <laughs> what? The what? Gene Perot hour apparently is available. Oh, Gene oh, Gene Tiro. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. so, this thing's getting better ratings than my podcast. Well, I'm I'm glad she's out of work. I can't. I couldn't stand her. Me either. What did you guys think of Chappelle? He was great on the Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was. Uh, I I thought it was interesting because to begin with, he did almost his comedy act. Right. Yeah. They, they gave him like twenty minutes. No, it's like yeah, they never stopped. Minutes. Yeah. 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 And uh, by the end of the show, when they did the newscast, they cut the newscast short. Yep. And, Boy, it was uh, good. you know, it was, it was very good. He said some very, it was very poignant and, and yeah. very, yeah. Yeah. Very in a league of his own. Very he really is. Yep. He so, definitely well, is. How's, how's the reaction down in Florida where people are still voting for Trump? <laughs> in what regard? Well, I mean, how, uh, to begin with, I mean, you got to realize that uh, Florida's Trump territory, isn't it really? Still, uh, it's very mixed. It's 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 almost about equal. Um, and the the Trumpers, there are quite a few of them with the uh, big pickup trucks, with six f huge flags behind them. Mm -hmm. And I I'd seen that for months and months before mm -hmm. uh, election day. Mm -hmm. And even on election day, and a few days after, I'd seen a bunch of them. But I haven't seen any in a couple of days now. So. They may be hiding, putting their flags away, and and getting on with life. I don't know, but the, but nobody's really nobody's really torn apart about it or screaming at each other about it. It wasn't it kind of close there, though. Yeah, I think so. I oh, think yeah. it was only the Cubans that put them over the top. Those fucking goddamn Cubans. <laughs> well, there won't there won't be many more of them in the next couple of elections because they're starting to die off the the uh the anti-castro cubans yeah but they got so. the children who they've indoctrinated you know the reason they were anti-castro cubans is they were pro a dictatorship of, of what's his name who came before batista him. batista and batista chased them out of out of there and took all their land away and their money and of course they hated communism how could they not right but yeah you don't think that Biden's a communist. I mean, it, what, what Trump <laughs> did as an assertion was say that Biden was a socialist. Well, look, I am a socialist, it's okay? Absurd. All right? But uh, don't call Biden a socialist. I know one when I see one, and he's not a socialist. You know, he's a middle-of-the-roader. He's a guy who, who believes in unions and believes in the working man and all of that, but he still doesn't believe that you need to be a socialist. And even if you're a socialist, you're not a communist. He's not a socialist. He believes in Wall Street very deeply. He's yeah. not a socialist. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I, 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 it was just the way they were, what Trump was asserting and they bought <clears throat> because they're, they're stupid, you know? I mean, uh, yeah, they're all, they're all, uh, they're all Desi Arnaz's. Anyway, yeah, yeah, but what a, what about the people in uh, Texas? There's a big Hispanic community in Texas that voted for Trump. They're not next door to yeah. Cuba. Well, the, you know something that I think is stupid because you're voting against your own best interest, you know, uh, and and it's kind of like a bunch of Mexicans because they can vote. They obviously had citizenship who are saying 
Well, uh, yeah, well, I, got, I became a citizen. They didn't. I don't care about them. Am I right, Charlie? You live in Texas. Yeah, I, I think that that was, must have been the, uh, the thinking because, I mean, it's obvious that Trump hates Mexicans. Yeah, there were, there were a bunch of interviews of, of Mexican uh, immigrants who said, I had to go through this process and these people are trying to get theirs without having to do what I did. Right. Yeah. There's, there's, there's and, something to that. Yeah. And what happens to the wall now? It's around the White House. <laughs> the last four years. The wind will blow it over now. By well, did, you, it did you see the First wall? It has to be built to the White House. That was a better wall than right. he built by on the border. <laughs> yeah. In fact, what was interesting about what was happening in front of the White House? Of course, he was he was somewhere else playing golf. Playing golf. The last three days but playing the, golf. The crowds there in front of the White House were so enormous. It was, I think, larger than his inauguration crowd. Yeah. yeah. It was. <laughs> Which was the biggest inauguration ever? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It was the huge. Ed, Edward, you've been you've been kind of quiet in all of this. Any any thoughts about what has happened in the last couple of days? I was happy when they got rid of Trump. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Edward is a guy who I've said I want to hire to do cartoon voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that you said that they got rid of Trump. We got rid of Trump. Oh, we got, yeah, sorry. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, well, Still there. Yeah. I got to go pick him out myself. I'm going. By the way, the, uh, the, uh, the award for best COVID hair on tonight's program goes to Albert. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> Obviously, during COVID, you haven't been able to get a haircut, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, right, yeah. Right, and it looks terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell that to my wife, because she, uh, stupidly, I said, when, when, if Biden wins, I'll get a haircut. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And now, now I'm saying, you know, of course, I meant when it's certified, I'll get a haircut. <laughs> so it's, I got a few months left. Yeah. And then when it's here, Adrian. Oh, Hi, Adrian. Hey, Adrian. Now, that's mm -hmm. why we Hello. wanted to see yeah. Trump lose. <laughs> Okay, say hi. I want some Marjorie right there. She says Marjorie's the one with the curly hair. She always says. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to go talk to her teacher. I have a teacher conference for her. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, how nice she's doing. No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Adrian, Adrian, how are you doing at school? How are you doing at school, Adrian? Good. And who won? The red or the blue? Who did you want? The red or the blue? Say louder. The blue. Every time she'd come up to me, she'd go, oh, Daddy, the blue's winning. The blue's winning. <laughs> OK. Hey, goodbye, everybody. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday. Goodbye, Dave. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, happy birthday. Thanks, everybody. Happy birthday. Is she the most adorable hey, kid in the world? I'm, hey, so, I'm kidnapping her. I know. Right? Hey, Huh? Yes, what, what were you saying, Shaggy? I said, yes, Mr. Epstein. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve was trying to say something. Yeah, Steve. Hey, Ryan, is your wife so up? What? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, uh, Adrian's dad. Yeah, but he's not here. Yeah, he's not here anymore. Oh. I was just wondering if this wife's still, you know. Oh. I, think, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think maybe Vietnamese, but I'm not sure. I never have asked uh, Brian that, you know, but I don't know. To tell you the mm. truth. Uh, but boy, they it sure, the two of them sure produced beautiful kids. I'll tell yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful kids. Uh, she, I mean, he's, as I said, he's going to have to go buy two baseball bats. <laughs> Way all the boys they are going to be coming to the front door. You know, uh, because it's it's going to be uh, she's she's going to be a heartbreaker that one. Um, so anyway, so I think you know I think we just feel good about it. What I like was the pure nastiness of the press once Biden was made uh, yeah. a, a president elect. Then all of a sudden they started talking what using words like dictator. <laughs> like that. You know, prior to that they didn't want to seem. Two over the board. Oh. Anderson Cooper called him an obese turtle. 
on his, yeah, sling in the sun or something like that? that yeah, he yeah. threw on his back in the sun, yeah. All <laughs> fair now. Now we can pile on, you know. Uh, but, I mean, the way I feel about it is, is that if I wanted to get even with the man, if I really wanted to wring his neck and make him squirm, our votes made him squirm. You yeah. got to know he just is feeling, not feeling good about this. Well, because the banks are going to call his loans in. Yep. And he yep. doesn't have the money to pay the well, loans. All the all the things that being president prevented from happening to him are now going to happen to him. And and the attorney general, of New York State, or is it New York City, is is state. filing some state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Southern state of Southern District of New York. New York. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's federal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, he's he's going to be up to his ass in, in all kinds of problems. Well, he's, he's got Giuliani, so he'll be fine. Yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> got the best, yeah. I got the best lawyer in New York City. That's right. <laughs> Has anyone seen Giuliani's face lately? <laughs> well, yeah, no, he was at that thing at the uh, at the Four Seasons in the Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Four Seasons landscaping party. Oh, God. I wonder if Trump said, stand by, stand by, Rudy. I'm coming down to have lunch with you at the Four Seasons. Right. You can join me at the Ritz. Uh, I'll meet you by the fertilizer <laughs> department. <Yeah. laughs> and the Four Seasons are like, I don't know why they're here. <laughs> you know what happened he said the four seasons the four seasons says we don't want that here so they had to do something and they looked up four seasons to not make trump a liar oh really they say we didn't want it's got to be what's happened I'm, I'm assuming that i'm not saying it's fact but yeah. you know, we're going to be at the four seasons because we're I big think, shots I think, I think the four seasons went hell no we don't want this this <laughs> it's yeah, the same reason we know deutsche bank is going to call the loans because they publicly said we're tired of being affiliated with this guy it's hurting yeah. our brand and that's half a billion dollars at least. Yeah. Yeah. At least. Yeah. I'm looking it is at the perfect punchline. It's the perfect ending, that four seasons. Thing. What a metaphor. I know. Started on the golden elevator and ended up at the <laughs> parking, <laughs> parking lot across from the dildo store. Garden world. <laughs> we, lost somebody, we lost somebody here far. besides uh, besides Steve. Uh, we lost somebody else and I don't know who. I can't the truck remember. driver. No, we lost the truck driver. All right, Brian. Oh, right. Right. of course we lost. Yeah. Yes, I know. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out where everybody went. You know. He's on his way over here to the Ritz for my press conference. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really it, it it's really a, a wonderful day for America. I think that I think this has been a great day too. Stock market went up. Yeah. By twelve hundred points. Jump, jumped up uh almost twelve hundred points at one point and uh it was up fifteen hundred at one point. I don't oh, know what it Yeah. Now, uh, what do you th Trump's probably saying, oh, that's my doing. And he's he is. absolutely well, right. It is <laughs> his doing. Yeah, what was his doing? It ended up 834 points. Eight, eight, is that where it ended up? Yeah, I just looked. Okay, well, it's still good. Yeah, uh, it but the fact is time. that it, it, it went up like that because of him Pfizer. not being president. And yeah. Pfizer. And, and Pfizer. Pfizer, the two in combination, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, and then it was late day profit taking, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's a good combination. Yeah, so you know, it, 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 life is a little better now on Monday than it was on Friday. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. Did, you, yes. did, you, did you see the firework display? How the the lights fixed in the air? That was all done with drones. Yes. Oh wow. Yes. Oh, it was very interesting. interesting. It was amazing. It, it was really cool. Yeah, very cool. Better than the Trump one where it said Trump. Right. Yeah. And I had to do it in fireworks, not drones. Drones are really cool. <laughs> well, I, have, I have to buy my Trumpy bear before they go out of. I, I we hope have they're... one. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Trumpy bear. Show. <laughs> there, there, right there. Uh, I, I put a mask on him. Because... Mm. <laughs> but this was the Trumpy bear and. Uh, if you haven't uh, got, I guess you better hurry up and get yours soon, yeah. right? You know, yeah, it won't be, be, this will be a collector's item 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kid yourself. They'll be going for nothing on eBay in two weeks. <laughs> you put it with my beanie baby. Anyway, hey, listen. Thank you all. This has been wonderful. Another wonderful gathering of people uh, uh, here uh, to, uh, you know, uh, it's wonderful. I, I love these these Monday shows, and we will continue to do them as long as I can still continue to do them. Anyway, uh, thank you, Marjorie. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Edward. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Len. Thank you, Albert. And Albert. thank you, uh, uh, Brian, and also to Steve for joining us. And thank uh, everybody else for joining us as well. Okay? Bye. Bye, everybody. Okay, everybody wave goodbye. There we go. Bye-bye. Okay.